I just want to publicly say to my friends and loved ones that I know how religious you are. I know you've been taught to believe what you believe, and I know that you think that you're doing the right thing. And I know some of you probably have unfriended me on Facebook or whatever, and some probably unfriended me in life because of the things that I'm saying about religion and uh, that white man's image, you know. But if I didn't love you, you know, I wouldn't care what you think. You know, but I love you, and we've been lied to. The word God in Genesis comes from a word called Elohim, a Hebrew word called Elohim. El, if you remember, was the Canaanite name for God. So, El, E-L, is God. Ohim, in Hebrew, is what the S or E-S is in English. So, when you put Ohim in on the back of El Ohim, it makes it plural. So, the gods created the heavens and the earth. But they didn't create everything. You got to understand that energy and consciousness is only two things that exist in the universe. Energy have different forms. It takes the form of a rock, a tree, a man, a plant, etc., etc., etc. But these are just different forms of one energy. Consciousness is in all. That's why they want you to look for God in the sky. Because they don't want you to um, connect with your um, God source within you. <laughs> so these group of beings, the Elohim, the gods that claim to come, that, that, that claim to have created this universe, they didn't. They are not gods either. They are a group of entities, highly evolved, a highly evolved um, a group of entities. Not meaning they're better than you and me, but it's just that their races, their race is more advanced techn technologically and wisdom wise. Now we'll get to where they are on our development in life um, in eternity in this eternity but um, they are already there and they're using their power against us so they're portraying themselves as God that's why I say let us go let us make man in our image I don't understand how you can still believe that the word G-O-D is singular when it's verses like that saying let us make man in our image and it didn't it wasn't talking about a trinity that came later on all right well anyway man was already created what they did they manipulated the genes and that's what they meant by let's let us make man in in, in in our image not from nothing man was already made oh let's take this this being and let's you know let's splice his dna and let's put some of our dna with his and then let's make him a primitive thinker think just enough to believe what we say and we can control it. Those are the same ones that let us go down and, and see what man doing, old man building the Tower of Babel, which is bullshit because you can't, you can take all the material on the earth right now and build a tower to where there ain't nothing left but the tower standing on a piece of earth and it still won't be enough to, 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 um, um, to reach what y'all call heaven. So these beings got jealous and they came down and confounded the language. The language that they confounded was the spiritual language, the language of your mind and your soul. The serpent coming to Eve wasn't a serpent at all and, and wasn't the devil. The serpent was intuition and wisdom and premonition that came in the form of a serpent because like Jesus said, you must be wise. The serpent, the serpent in ancient civilizations was veneered and highly respected. The serpent told the truth. He said, you will become, you will become God-like and you will know right from wrong. 
serpent didn't lie. The serpent is wisdom also. Wisdom is a universal sign of water. I mean, like the sign for water, the glyph of water, the zig zig line. It's like a serpent, but wisdom is what came to humanity to warn them about these people that's playing gods. If you don't believe me, research this stuff. But you are here and you have been indoctrinated to believe a whole bunch of lies that keeps you from your energy source and keeps them having access to your energy source. And your energy source within you is trying to awaken you and show you things. But your mind is warned against your spirit. Your spirit wants out of the illusion, but you trying to be comfortable in the illusion. It's time to wake up. I love you.